Hello, welcome to today's video. We are in our music book, The Alfred's All in One Book Four. And today we are going to be talking about page number 20. I'm going, or I'm gonna sing. I'm gonna sing. Okay, so let's go ahead and listen to this one first. Here we go. Your left hand is gonna be there in G position, but also keep in mind that the thumb is going to play both D and E because of the sixth interval. For the right hand, G position as well, five is going to play D or E there. Okay, so let's go ahead and play this music here. Ready? Here we go. One, two. Tardando is the second time. We will take repeats and there will be repeats also in the comparison. So let's talk about the left hand first. One system at a time. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth. And that's for the left hand first system. The right hand, notice that the rhythms are quarter, eighth, eighth, quarter, eighth, eighth. It's going to be that for the entire time. Ready? One. Two, G, 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 A, 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 B, 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 C, C, C. Notice there is a crescendo from mezzo forte. I suppose we'll go up to forte. And this is all non legato. One, two. Okay, non legato. Second system, left hand. Fifth, two, fourth, two, third, two, tie, two. For the right hand, quarter, eighth, eighth, quarter, quarter, and then two half notes tied together. B, B, G, A, A, G, two, tie, two. Both hands together. Notice there is a decrescendo there. That will be repeated twice. Third system, the left hand is playing at the forte dynamic. These two measures are legato. G, G, B, D, two. Make sure that you apply the new technique of repeated legato. G, G, B, D, two. Left hand, fourth, fourth, third, two. These are accented on the third measure of the third system. The right hand starts fifth, excuse me, sixth, sixth, fifth, two. Now you may have noticed that I didn't go back to five here. Instead, I went five, five, four, two. So it's actually a really good idea. Since your finger number five is working, finger number four is not working, it should be not too hard to be able to play that fifth with finger number four. Make sure those are accented. Here we go, both hands together. Two. And make sure those accents sound louder than any other the notes. Into the next and the last system. Uh, this is pretty much the same, except for the two quarter notes in the left hand. Repeated legatos, two different sets. G, B, D, D. Okay. 
when playing that, make sure that you don't accent the notes unintentionally. And then the left hand, non legato, fourth, fourth, third, two. And that's the same for the second repeat. And the right hand begins on the second measure of that blast system. Beat number two, one, B, G, A, A, G, two. That's a repeated legato there on A. Then put them both together. Notice that we come together here. Lift. Mixed articulations, right hand legato, left is non-legato, okay? So make sure that you take both repeats for both sections. Now let's go ahead and play and sing. Here we go. One, two. I'm gonna sing, gonna sing, gonna sing, gonna sing all the all along my way. I'm gonna sing, gonna sing, gonna sing, gonna sing all along my way. Here we go, forte. singing, uh, the soloist would be singing that part right there. That would be a male soloist or a low singer. And then the chorus comes together like that. I usually will just sing the top voice as the melody. Of course, you can sing any one of those notes, but usually that's the way it is. Okay, make sure you do that twice. I'm gonna sing yes, my love. for the legato in the right hand is because melody starts in the left hand and then continues into the right. That's why the left hand just goes back to non-legato. Okay, so that's how we practice this one here. We'll see you at next lesson. Bye.